All right, welcome back. Now this is awesome. This is um, this gets right to it. This is one of the first chapters. There's a lot of history in this book. Um, art in the Western cultures, how it came to be, evolution of it. Um, yeah. This is awesome, though. This is proportions. And this is very important for every artist to know. And notice right here, the head, okay? It's head, 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 all, heads all the way down. So I count from the top of the head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you have like a quarter here with the, with the foot and a quarter between the head and the neck. So it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight and a half the whole uh, length of this body with the uh, proportions. Now notice, and this is a, a tricky thing. It's been for me in the past and for other artists as well. Notice the, the legs, how long the legs are. One, two, three, four. Um, four heads deep. And look at the torso. One, two, three, if you count, you know, the, the pelvis, right? So you got four, which is longer than three. So that you always want these legs down from the ankles to the bottom of the pelvic bone or buttocks to be longer than the torso. Otherwise, the torso looks longer than the body. It doesn't, it doesn't look right. You, you get someone that looks too small. Um, the general proportions and measurements of the figure and, and uh, all of it right here. Um, the front torso, three heads long for a line drawn across the shoulders to the public arch. It divides across the baseline of the pectorials and across the line of the umbilicus or navel. Across the line of the public arch. So, the front torso. So, let me... Practice drawing this bad boy here. Okay. I'll set the framework in about 10 seconds and I'll just fill in the rest as I go. Let's see here. So. So, one. We'll make the head like this. One. I actually don't have enough paper for this, so I, you know. <laughs> and I went, it took a little bit too long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so let's... It's going to get cut off here. So... I should have made the head smaller. But alright, I'll, I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it just for the sake of doing it here. Now they have a side profile shot, which is fine. I'll make them looking this way a little bit more. It's a quarter for the neck, shoulders. And then he's got the whole chest in here. These are just like big U's. Shoulders are down here on this line, deltoids. All right, the rib cage. Okay, leads us down into the pelvis area. And this kind of connects to legs here. So I'm, I'm drawing at this, this at a different um, kind of position. Like he's kind of walking. Okay. What? Everything is pretty much in proportion. Um, the knees about right here. This one's lifted up a little bit higher. And 
look at the the hand comes down to about right here so just under the pelvis so right here is where the hands gonna be so that's good to know that because you don't want to draw the the arms that are too long or too short all right then just do the balloons here or the cylinders ovals ovals cylinder And you actually got the hands right here. Okay, which hands are a whole nother ball of wax. They can be open hands or closed or what have you. We'll have a whole video on hands. And uh, so yeah. And the ribcage and the details and the solar plexus and the, the uh, seven pack. Or, um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. A six pack. I'm sure there's even more muscles right in there to make it uh, an eight pack. But uh, rib cage is just something, you know, these ribs right in here. That's a long time of drawing uh, superheroes. But he's facing forward, so his. He's not that narrow as far as right right here. So there's some folds. So really I should just kind of do that since his buttocks is a little bit more behind him. And there we go. So okay, that's a start. That's a start. And just remember how many heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight heads from the top of the head to the ankles eight and a half if you include if you include the uh, quarter neck and the quarter foot right here all right so that's something good to practice um, you know the size head you have pretty much determines how how far down you're gonna go on a page like this so I had to cut off you know the feet so but I know it's somewhat in proportion so we'll keep going and we'll keep journeying in this video and or the next video and again we're just keeping it loose sketching i'm not going for detail we can always go back and draw on the detail if we want to get really serious about it but again keeping things loose and sketchy and then when you want to commit to a drawing go ahead and finish it you know 10 seconds a day keep drawing <laughs>